here's a little bit of an intro, a little bit of a backstory. For the month of December, I'm going to be answering your questions in about the time it takes me to drink a beer. So feel free to join along. Ask me a question down below in the comments. I'll drink a beer. I'll answer your questions. Hey, yo, this is Dash. <laughs> Get ready. All right, so I'm back at it. Another question, another beer. Today's question comes from a long time watcher from Izzy. From Izzy Eats. Izzy says, How do you figure out pricing on jobs with the crazy up and down in meat costs? Simple. <laughs> I have to go around and find out how much things cost, preferably before, preferably before, doesn't always happen, before I bid on a, on a, I won't say project, but before I bid on an, an event. One of the other things too, I typically am going into Restaurant Depot, Costco, and Sam's enough where I have a general understanding of what the price is gonna be, but there are times when those change. Because of the fact that I know what the pricing is or should be, I typically can price events accordingly. Now, there have been times where I've been caught by surprise, 20, 21 in general, with the, <laughs> the rising cost of meats but it's just one of those things where you have to figure out what the price is or what your purchase price is and typically you, you do that food service three times markup and that will be sufficient enough to give you the money or profit that you need now of course there are certain things that you can do to make additional profits or to make more money uh, there are folks that are making sides or selling drinks or doing other things My bread and butter is typically just doing the event as long as I'm doing enough food for the particular event I will make money off of it uh, There are times when I have lost money more or less or I have definitely Broken more or less even because of the fact that I priced a job before I was able to look at pricing and find out how much I was going to have to pay and then what I would do in those instances is to try to upsell them something. I'm going to sell them buns. I'm going to sell them barbecue sauce that I'm buying off of the shelf. I'm going to sell them potato salad or coleslaw or some other side to help make up the difference. Pro tip. <laughs> because I know that I'm not making as much money off of the proteins or that I can't make as much money off of the proteins. So now I'm going to have to make up the money that I'm not making on the sides so there's a you know there's a hint for you but usually unfortunately the the prices go up but they don't come down so with that being said as fast as the prices are rising they're not coming down as fast so even if i'm still charging like currently charging 20 some odd dollars for brisket when the price of brisket comes down I'm basically going to be making up the difference in the money that I lost in profit from before until everything kind of evens out and then I will drop my pricing. But you know as well as I do, meat high, it's going to stay high, it's always going to be high and we stuck, unfortunately. So with that being said, I don't know what else I can tell you other than you have to be flexible with your pricing. You have to be flexible with your customers. And you know, I used to think that it was a cop out with going, going someplace and seeing on the menu that it was a market price. Yeah, until the market started fluctuating on me, now I understand market pricing. I'm sure you do too. 
especially if you're out there selling food. Uh, it is it has been a up and down struggle in during the pandemic, after the pandemic, or you know, well, during the pandemic, post pandemic, things have just gone out of control, and it is not getting any better. At least not anytime soon. So, hopefully, it will be. But for right now, it doesn't seem like it. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so very much. As always for watching, I'm going to finish my beer while I tell y'all bye. Don't forget, I can answer your question. All you have to do is leave your comment down below, your question down below, and hopefully I will be able to get to it in a timely manner, timely fashion, and can get it done before the end of the month. Just keep in mind, I film a few videos at a time, so three, maybe five videos at a time. So if you wanna get your question answered, you need to hurry up and leave your question down below. <laughs> and then I will hopefully be able to get to it in a timely fan manner, like I said, and I'll answer it um, before the month is out. So thank you, Izzy. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Seriously, again, as always, I really do appreciate you watching. I wouldn't be able to do this, these videos without you guys. So thank you so very much, as always, again, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, like I said, feel free to leave your comment down below so I can answer your question in the Ask or in this Ask a Dash series for the month of December. So other than that, I think that covers everything, right? Everything. All right, guys. Thank you guys again. And yeah. Gosh, those are weak claps. Unfortunately, my hands are freezing. All right. But you are always. Oh. I don't think I need all three of these cameras. Do I need you? Do I need you? I know I need you. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs>